and in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord. What a joy it is having you come into our space here where we can minister the Word of God to you. And we're coming to you today with a message that has been preached somewhere around the world. Something like Santiago. Don't know where he is. I just pray that you'll be blessed, inspired, healed, delivered, set free, fear gone, faith arise, and that you will receive today from this preached word just what you need. Thank you so much for being here. Where am I going? Have you ever thought about where you're going if you leave God? Peter, get away from me. Where am I going, Jesus? You have the words of eternal life. Where am I going? Come on. If you start thinking about where you're going, you will stop that foolishness. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, God is not real here. He ain't doing nothing for me. I got a promise. I got a whole book of prophecies. I don't see nothing fulfilled. It doesn't matter if he doesn't fulfill any, any one of your prophecies for the next 4,000 years. He's still God. He's still my God. I will die believing he's still my, 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 my God. And, 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 though, and though you slay me, you ain't doing nothing but causing me to trust you more. Oh, though you slay me, I'm going to trust you. you go through what Jesus went through is only to show the world how real God is. That he's real. He's not just a figment of my imagination. He's not a statue. He's not an image. He's not Buddha. He's not Hindu. He's not, he's not some idol God with a big belly. I can get one of those. You see, he's God. He smites me, and I still let him touch me with that smiting hand. My God, why have you forsaken me? Mm. And he comes out of it and says, I, I thirst. Because love suffers. I'm not going to get into this. That's why they talk so much about waterboarding and whatnot, how, how distasteful it is and horrendous it is. Because th there's something about, in spite of how bad waterboarding and all these things is that man has concocted, the greatest pain that you can ever know is thirst. And Jesus, remember, his body has gone through all these contortions. He's lost water. He's losing blood. He's using all, losing all of his liquid. And, 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 and he's coming down that everything is coming down to the lowest, lowest ebb. He's coming to a point that he can just about be offered anything and willing to accept. You see, the devil is trying to beat you down. Until you say, okay, I give in. Young lady, he'll try to beat you down until you give your virginity up. He'll try to beat you down until you give yourself up to him and say, okay, you win. He will try to put you through such pain and agony until you say, okay, I'll play the lottery. Okay, okay, okay. He allows it to go up billions of dollars just to see if you're going to believe him. Or are you going to be tempted to go into 7-Eleven? Okay, 58, 32, 16. You got that? Okay. See, I wrote it, I wrote it down right here. It's all right. Ah, praise the Lord. How you doing? Hey, I didn't know 
go see you here today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You got any more juicy fruit over there? <laughs> but he's trying to beat you down. You're in need of some extra money. So it's income tax time. And your form says you've got three children that you don't know anything about. He tries to beat you down and make you give in. And when you give in, what you're saying is, you're right. God is not all that. I really can't trust him. Because if I could trust him, he wouldn't turn his back on me like this and leave me abandoned. But he allows all of this take place to see if you're still going to believe that he's still your God. And at some point along the way, he's going to show himself as father. Ooh! When he came, <laughs> oh Lord, he came through a time, he said, I thirst. Why, why did he have to thirst? And please get this, because had he not thirsted, he could never tell you that I'm bringing you to a realm in me that you'll never thirst again. Right. He had to go to the lowest ebb of pain, which was thirst, so that he could promise you that you're not going to go through what I went through. I thirst, not we. <laughs> I thirst, not we. No, I thirst so that you, when you come into my kingdom, will never have to thirst again. I'll be in you, a well of water springing up. Remember, every one of you, the devil is seeking to pressure you in your situation to make you give up on God. You may not give up all the way. You may do what we call compromise. A little bit of God, a little bit of something else. A little bit of God, a little bit of something else. But if you have a glass of milk and somebody mistake, mistakenly pours grape juice in it, or you have lemon juice and somebody puts a little cream in it, you see? It, it, it changes, the compromise changes what it was. Oh! Y'all hear? Okay, that's right. I want you to hear. All right. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Come on, make sure you listen to me. I ain't up here talking to myself, all right? A compromise changes the original. You lose something in the realm of compromise. And the enemy is trying to get every one of you, us, no matter how young, no matter how old. You're not too old to compromise. They're compromising in the nursing home. They're finding boyfriends in the nursing home. Girlfriends in the nursing home. Roll my chair over there with him, child. You see? As long as there's breath in your body, the enemy will put you in a position to compromise. 
and he will offer you something for your thirst. Let me move on. When he came out of that, he shouted, Tetelestai! It is finished. But a better translation is because it's only one word. It's not it is. But when he said, Tetelestai, it was finished. Another word is perfect. That he looked back <laughs> over everything that was going through. Everything he was going through. And he said, perfect. It could not happen to a better person than me. You chose me to go through this. He said, it's perfect. Why? Because love will always have a triumphant end. Remember, when you're having difficulty in your relationships, loving the most unloved person will bring you to a triumphant end. You are going to have victory in the end. You are going to be able to shout Tadalasta right in front of your enemies. Remember people that spat on him, beat on him, nailed him, speared him. They were all standing there when he said, perfect. You did your jobs well. If I could take my hands free from this cross, I would give you an applause. Yeah. Woo. I would clap my hands for you because you did your part well so that people could see who I am and that God could be glorified. Thank you. Thank you for hammering me. Thank you for spearing me. Thank you for spitting on me. Thank you for it. Who took the time to plait this crown of thorns? Thank you. Because I want a triumphant end. And Father, you arranged this. So I want you to know that there's still nobody that I can trust better than you. And so, the relationship that he had at the beginning of the cross, Father, forgive them, he had it at the end. He says, Father, into your hands. I commit, I commit, I make a commitment of my spirit because I don't know anybody else I can tr trust my spirit to but you. Huh. Heaven and earth rejoiced. Because, what time is it? Two and a half, thank you. About an hour and 40 minutes, okay. Uh, no, 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 nobody could exemplify this love that God has better than the son, because the son was the only creature, being, created being, who had the DNA of the father, God. That's why you and I could not love like he did, because we did not have the DNA of God. Jesus had the DNA of the father, therefore he could manifest the love of God to the exact degree because he had Father's DNA. That's why it says, 
for purpose. God. So. So. He didn't just love, but he so loved. And he loved us so that he gave his only, 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 and then begotten. You and I are begotten of God through Jesus. He was begotten of God, period. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Let, let, us, let me deal with that. Thank you so much for tuning in to us. And I pray that you have been blessed and inspired, delivered, set free, and healed. If you have been, why don't you sit down and send your gift to us. $22 is what I'm asking you to give. That will denote what God is going to do in your life for the rest of this year. Be blessed. Hopefully we'll see you on tomorrow.